The war in Ukraine. You don't do that, Ben. You indent. Oh. Don't you know how to write? Well, we already did deer, so then we did we do another indent, I guess? I guess yeah, we do well, because hey buddy's its own thing. Okay, okay. Hey buddy, the war in Ukraine. Uh Ben, do you have anything to plug? Uh no. Uh just my Twitter. Well, you're also do you want to tell them you you also you tried to start your own merch line. No, that's and I good. called the police. <laughs> Ben tried to start his own merch line, right? Mm -hmm. You want to show them the photo? Yeah, I'll show them the photo. Show them the photo of what you tried to do. Mm. Now, you tried to do this, and I caught you immediately, and I contacted the Federal Bureau of Investigation, and they've opened an investigation into you, and I hope the result of that investigation is that you serve time. What, can you, what is that? Can no you, one can even, oh, there it is. There it is. Now, of course, this is a joke. This is something that your wife's mom made for you? My mother-in-law. She Right, very... that's that's what I said. Well, yeah, it's just mother-in-law's easier. Okay. And she made that for you. Yeah, it's very sweet. She put my logo on something. Did she ask me for permission? Well, it's technically a little different. You can tell she, like, stenciled it and oh, everything. Oh, is it? Well, yeah, we'll yeah. see how different it is. Because she took my name, right? Your name is on it. Yeah, yeah. She took my name. And she put it on something without uh, my permission. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. Well, we'll deal with that. <laughs> we'll be dealing with it legally. Okay? Mm -hmm. And let's just say we're going to be dealing with it legally. Okay. This is the type of thing that we have to be nipped in the butt immediately. Are you suing me or are you suing uh, my wife's family? Broad brush. Everybody's going to get something. Everybody's going to get it because... Otherwise, if I'm taking advantage of like this consistently and I don't step in and say no, mm -hmm. it will never end. And I worry, I worry about what this can be. Disgusting. Good luck. Good slots. And what did you talk about with them? Uh, how I have feelings of like worthlessness and. Uh... But those are justified. Mm -hmm. The other day, we're on a plane. Now, by the way, I sit in first class. He mm. sits in coach. It's the way it is. Mm -hmm. It's the way it is. It's called capitalism. Uh, and I look back. He's sitting in the row right behind the first class curtain, trolling me, essentially, sitting in like a comfort seat mm -hmm. or some type of like higher priced seat. And I'm looking at him. I usually never see him. And I walk sometimes to the back of the plane and I give him something that we get in first class, a hard boiled egg or something. I squirrel it away to him and he's sitting right up there. But you know how God punishes him? Tell everyone hap what happened in the middle of the flight. Tell everybody what happened. Uh, uh, a younger white man is sitting in the middle seat, fit, uh, started vomiting all wait over. Wait a minute, him. wait a minute. Uh, how did you describe him? A younger white man? And then you said fit like he's fit? He's fit. Okay, what in God's name <laughs> does that have to do with what happens next? It's not next? who you would think would, it would be. Who would you think it would be? Um, an older woman. Of what race? I, I mean, don't think why did race you, is important. Well, you specified race. You brought it up. That's true. That's kind of weird I did that. Yeah. Interesting. Well, it was a white guy. It was a white fit man, the enemy, and what then happened to you? He uh, he, like like crazy started vomiting all over his his groin and his crotch. That's right. And it he did it so much he was flailing around for uh, that's uh, right the throw up bags and he couldn't there weren't any and so he just kept going like about five times went into my uh, ridge wallet backpack went on my shoes went on my pants I'm stuck in the window uh, the guy in the aisle jumped up immediately. And I was just stuck. There was nothing I could do. Here's then what happens. They send them into first. I swear to God. They send these dirty pieces of shit <laughs> covered in vomit into first class to wash themselves off. Mm. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I, I'm not vomiting. So you bring some schmuck from steerage who's vomiting... <laughs> Into it's like a two thousand yeah. dollar tick. If a photo comes out with you smoking crack with a prostitute, Ben, and I pray every day it mm -hmm. does. If a photo comes out, is that a can they charge you with a crime? Uh, I think so. Can you, can you go up, Ben? 
Thanks, Ben. It's please go up more. <laughs> I mean, here's what's amazing. Here's what these podcast producers don't realize. They've all won a lottery. Right. So let's be very honest. Right. They've all really won a lottery. Yep. They've won a lottery. Yeah. I don't care what they tell the other people in their lives. Yeah. They've all gone to the casino and just they've won a lottery. Yeah. And 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 that's real. And that's why everyone online hates them. Right. Like all the comments are like Ben should die because everybody else wants to be in the lot. They want to win the lot. They want to win. They're like, they I can do that. Want, they go, I, can I scroll up? I can scroll but up. But I don't know if they could. See, the thing is. Maybe some of them couldn't. Some of them probably could. Some of them couldn't. And also some of them, some of them. Yeah. The thing what I think was the X fact with Ben is you have trust because well, some of the them. Because he's not that good at this. But he's decent. I trust him a lot. Because here's what will happen. But he's, he's not quick. Like, Jamie Vernon's very quick. Right. But he's not really quick. But some of these other But he doesn't look like Homeless Pimp either, which is good. Which is a bad Homeless Pimp, you have to leave outside of a hotel lobby. Yeah, well, not anymore. Now, now, now oh, he's getting better now. Losing weight, he looks good now. Oh, he's good. Well, he let's, well, let's relax with good, but it's on the way. <laughs> yeah, it's it's yeah. in a positive direction. Positive way. He, yeah. Um, but, yes, he Ben is trustworthy because some of these other podcasts, producers, they'd unlock that back door. Yes. They'd unlock that back no, door. No, 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 no for sure. Yep, that's what it is. For sure. Heart Stopper Season 2 Open Call, and I don't apologize for it. But, of course... Uh, it's Pride Month. We're here. Ben's queer. Get used to it. Lil Nas X is angry. They don't have a mall. I don't think you put it on YouTube, but I bet I can find it He's on the like, website. Thank you, Ben. You don't have to telegraph what you're doing. You can just deliver. Um, uh, ben, can you fact check me on that? Kovacs. Not, that's not the Russian one. No, that's one. not the Russian one, Ben. What kind of... Mediocre research team do you have here? I mean, he's not a research team. Yeah. Thank you. Right. <laughs> um, Who's he working for? That's the real question. Well, that's he's the Ghislaine Maxwell of the par operation year. She had a lot more class and the intelligence brain? than him. I mean, as Ben said in one of his rare, lucid, and meaningful uh, thoughts, that it was... Um, what did you say, Ben? Like a beach from Robinson Crusoe, like the idyllic image. Oh, of I said beach. it's a platonic ideal of a beach. Like it could only exist inside your own mind, and then you step into it. It's such a surreal experience. It is it's surreal. Like, it is surreal. You're welcome. It's so beautiful you can't see it. Yes, mm -hmm. it is surreal. You're welcome. Now, Alf, have you ever felt burnt out? What did it feel like to you, Ben? It felt. Did you ever feel like you work too hard? Life can be overwhelming, and many people are burned out without even knowing it. Symptoms can include lack of <laughs> I am not South Asian. Shit. Ben, Sorry. spell Asian Sorry. right. Sorry. Sorry. I mean, Christ Almighty Sorry. with him. I am not South Asian. But, now keep the period. Okay. B-U-T, all caps. Okay. But... Victor Yanukovych? Nope. <laughs> That's not it, Ben. Okay, let me try again. Swing and a miss from producer extraordinaire. <laughs> Man. Ben Avery. Swing and a miss. It wasn't the Surge guy either, right? It's not Shogu. Sergey. We got to reach out to these people, Ben. This is absurd that you didn't bring this to my attention. Ben really doesn't do his job. This is very interesting. Ben really doesn't do his job. And it's now becoming more and more apparent to everybody that Ben has been, you know, really coasting here. He coasts. And all he does is complain that he has to travel and that him and his wife can't get drunk. All they want to do is get drunk and go follow Colin Morikawa around. <laughs> Try to find He's it. probably dead, Ben. He wanted to come on the show as the last thing he could fucking do to just tell everybody what was up. I'm sure he had a lot of nice things to say about me and my comedy and how it's impacted him before he was killed by Russia. And you ruined that. You ruined the chance for this man as his last earthly act mm. to come on the show and tell me that I uh, was a great influence on him and to keep doing what I'm doing Right before this man dropped dead. When you fly first a lot, yeah. but then you walk past it because you're not in it anymore. No. There's like a feeling of like. I did it one time. You know, he sits. Where do you sit every time? In coach. 
You see, every coach. time you coach, and every time you pass me, right? That's right. I always pass you. And what do I do? I always give you the. You point. You what? literally point back with <laughs> his I thumb. I point back. What you purposely like? You just want it. That's like your wife, or like that's just. Well, no, he. We're not. The business pays for his travel when he comes to New York and stuff. So we're so not paying. You guys don't sport him at first. Are, are you mentally ill? <laughs> <laughs> this is good. turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Look at the turn, turn around. Look at yourself. <laughs> whoa, 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 whose name's on the show right there? Is this? Uh, <laughs> A group show? Uh, <laughs> Does that say Saturday Night Live with 65 people in it? Is this an ensemble cast? Uh, Thank you so much, Ben. He saw that I was struggling yeah, you were. and rushed. Well, if he had set the mic up in the beginning, I couldn't you'd, get any more well, if he had set over. the mic up in the beginning, you'd be fine. But Ben likes to, like his boss, likes to do it on the fly. We don't love prep. He's really struggling, though. Thank you. you what an... This guy is just the sweetest little angel. You know, everyone says that who doesn't know him. Okay. <laughs> He heard himself. So that is what. Now, do you understand, Ben, what he means there? No, I, I don't understand finance or the economy. Ben, see, you're being wise. You're trying to be a wise guy. No, I guy. really don't. I don't. You're trying to be a wise guy. But the reality, I understand what he means. Mm. And what he's saying right now is that there's only one course of action that we have. And it's to take people like you and your family and make them feel pain. To make them feel a lot of pain. That's what he means. What he means is that avert your eyes. Because people like you and people that grew up in places like you did are going to have to feel pain now. Not so much people like me. People that can pink their skin on the tropical beaches and be buttered like, like soft rolls. With copper tone sunscreen, not people like us, mm -hmm. but people like you, dirt people, people that go from town to town mm -hmm. like modern day gypsies trying to find bags of wheat. You're going to have to feel it, the pain. You've just been on vacation for two days. You've had an amazing, mm -hmm. you've had an amazing time. You haven't had to do much. Mm -mm. You edited a Patreon episode. Mm -hmm. You told everyone at dinner you cut your own hair like we should be impressed. You just trotted that out like some type of, you know, accomplishment. You cut your own hair. Uh, but it's lovely. And now, you know, we're on the... Uh, we're Shut up. Stop hitting. I'm s just thinking it. Check, check, test. Well, fake. It's a clapper, so it's I can so see the fake. thing and then sync. It's one of these things you do to make believe that you're doing something. But it's not anything. It's... <laughs> what is it? SeaWorld? Seals? You gonna throw me a fish? Well, if I had a clapper, if I just went like that. <laughs> Gringo Poppy! <laughs> <laughs> That's what people are talking about. We're rolling. I know we are. It's the oh. Tim Dillon. Can you sit in your chair and do the show? Where are you going? I was looking for my water. Your water? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Tim Dillon Show, if we can even call it that, if everybody settled down, our friends. Oh, to know. I came up with a uh, fake business. You came up with the Enron logo in the F. Mm. But I came up with the actual fake business. But I... I edited the podcast that you did that went out. That's correct. And I could have, like, the camera could have been out of focus the whole time. Maybe I could have forgot to hit record. It That's right. Lost to the sands of time. That's right, but you didn't do it. I'm sure you'll do that more and more <laughs> often as, 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 you're, <laughs> as you try to kill me, Ow. which is fine. Stop imitating Joe. So wrong of you. No. Um. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Idiot. We're delusional. It's 1.03 a.m. We've got three more hours. I've got like 40 images on my phone and 15 of them are of scones. Was this guy a former White House staffer for Trump? Is he? I don't know, Ben. You're the one who does the research. I don't think he is. I'm the comic uh, genius and the cultural commentator. You're the back office. I'm wondering if it's not, it's, it's, it's a, you want to talk about ungrateful <laughs> and 
like absurd. Yeah. And oh, maybe it's in my car. Maybe maybe it's in my car. I mean, there should be lighters in the city. But again, it's like <laughs> it's it's it's. I mean, this guy. You want to talk about someone who's went on a nice ride? Yeah. I mean, you know. I mean, he's, anybody could do this, Ben. Just so you know. Yeah. The, we, let, let's just say all podcast producers, <laughs> anyone can do your job. And we love very you. Very few people. Yeah. Very few very people, few can people do, can do, do my do. job. Yeah. Yeah. That's anyone true. can do the podcast producer job. But they don't think it's that. It's self-taught. No, they At think this point, the technology is not, it's intuitive. They think it's their show. <laughs> yeah. No, they, they, all of these people, <laughs> from Jamie Vernon on down, but they gotta, think it's their show. You know what it is, dude? You yeah. have to, they have to feel that way in order That's to be right. good at their job. I remember when and I- And he's w- great he's at great. his job. But like, anybody could do it. Well, you, who would else be great at his job is an app. Anybody. A laugh app where I would say something funny, I press it and go- <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully this dude's okay. If not, we know who we have to blame. Ben Avery. Well, there you have it. Ben Avery, uh, a guy wants to come on the show. I mean, do you feel a little ashamed? Yeah, I should have had him as backup. I should I, have. Well, that's not even for the show. It's like this guy wants to get out information from a war zone mm. on a major podcast platform, and you ignore him. Well, I mean, it's a, it's a little absurd. Is it? No, it is. I mean, it's a pretty big fuck up. But you're people can have your head for this. You're a large media figure. And you could be feeding us misinformation. You could be Ben. Now, what you're doing is you're trying to justify the fact that you did not even bring this to me as an option here. Mm. You're 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 trying to what you, you're trying to keep me from misinformation. I mean, w- what's going on here? This is insane. Is that that that's your act now? You're trying to protect me from misinformation? You said I'm supposed to protect the show. Yeah. You're supposed to protect the show by not letting us make bad decisions or not letting episodes come out late or something. Mm -hmm. But what you're supposed to do is when somebody reaches out from a volatile, active war zone Mm -hmm. and wants to come on the show and tell me that I'm a genius (laughs) before they're killed, (laughs) and you don't... I'm I I'm in, I'm incensed at you right now. I truly cannot believe you did this. This was this guy's dying wish to tell me that I was the greatest comedian that he's ever seen mm. before he was killed in an invasion and you ignore him? You didn't even respond back to him, dude. I mean, mm. so do you want to apologize to him? Yeah, I'll, I'll say his at. I'll apologize. No, I, don't say his at. Okay, okay. Uh, we want to keep it private. Vladislav, I'm very sorry for what I did. I should have reached back to you and kept you on standby because... The- Vladislav, I wish Ben was killed by the Russians and not you. I hate Ben. Another fuck up from Ben Avery, everybody. That's what this show can count on. A guy from an active war zone wants to update us. Over. And by the way, we're kidding here. Hopefully he's okay. Hopefully, yeah, yeah. We hope he's... I mean, what do you like about Box of Awesome, Ben? Well, there's a lot of boxes I really like. Oh, my God. Will you tell us about some of them, you oh. fucking bitch? Of course. Well, that... What? That was very rude, but... Um, <laughs> But uh, bitch is a term of endearment and empowerment. Yeah, I guess you're right. That's ex- I'm exactly right. Ooh, that's nice. A knife and a bottle of liquor. Anything to add in closing? Uh, the the iPad thing. What? Well, the the thing with the kid. I was gonna say when you take the iPad away from the kid, I was gonna say they go nuts. They start squirming and going crazy. That's why I wasn't like I wasn't doing like a non sequitur thing. What? When you asked me if I knew a kid like that, that was crazy. And I told you the thing about like Roblox and stuff. Oh, yeah, I was I was getting to the. I sounded very f- like a fool. I wanted to just go back to it real quick. You sounded like a fool then. Yeah, so I just wanted to clarify that that part. I was getting to the thing where I was. I didn't want to make it look like I was just telling a story about a child I once knew. I was trying to connect it to what you were saying. Noted. That's what I would like to add. I would like to go on the record. Noted. Well, there's that. Have fun in Europe with your wife. Oh, yeah. Going to Europe. Isn't that nice? Mm-hmm. If you see Ben in Europe, say hello to him. Right? No? Mm-hmm. If, you're, if you're in Austria. Some time off 
Tim Dillon grants time off. Has Tim Dillon, does Tim Dillon go gallivanting around Europe? No, because I'm a workhorse and all I do is work. All I do is work for the betterment of the community and myself and him and everyone. But I understand he's gallivanting through Europe, but what will I, I'll be working as I always am and I always will be because there are kings and there are titans and then there are every, there's everybody else. And uh, have a good time. And I hope you enjoy it. You sleep with these. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Keep your mouth shut before you're fucking replaced. I'll go get that retard who produces Kreischer's podcast. I'll be sitting here in five minutes. All right, everyone. Good luck. That car would also need a driver. Like Ben should be driving you around. Hey, by the way, by the way, agreed. <laughs> yeah, it really should. I, be. I, 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 hey, 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 hey. Zero argument for me. Zero argument for me. Uh, in that in that thing. Did me well, and Tim, the, the Tim thing, are in such different yeah. worlds, right? Like he pulled in. I thought we we're going. We are shooting a special in Denver, and, and March twenty sixth at the Paramount Theater, and Ben is going to direct it. So if it looks like shit, it's his fault. Mm -hmm. Ben's never really directed anything before, except all of the videos we've done. But you've never done any comedy specials, right? No, never shot a comedy special. This will be your first time. That's right. Do you feel any pressure? Tons, yeah. You yeah. should feel tons of pressure. Yeah, yeah. You shouldn't sleep. I the first when you asked me to do it, I didn't really sleep the first day. Yeah, I was very nervous. Well, I, you should be very nervous. But I didn't start smoking again, so that's good. Well, that's good. Yeah. Congratulations. But we're concerned with the results of the special. Whatever substances uh, you uh, are partaking of are of no concern to me. Our concern only, again, is with the results mm. of the special, which you are doing uh, for the first time. We have a lot of faith in you. Thank you. I stand by you like Daniel Eck. I don't care what others say about you. I stand by you. What else do we have going on here uh, in the news? Ben Ben's new job now is he uh, recently gets 100 articles and none of them are queued up for the show. I got them right here. Oh, oh, well, look at me being wrong. <laughs> but I, I, what? We just keep naming. No, no, you're, you're. No, you're right. It's like three. Ben's a fan of art. I'm a creator of it. We have very different, <laughs> we have very different opinions. It's true. We have very different opinions on things. I am a creator of art. Ben is like a fanboy. Mm. So we have different, we have different reactions. But he did direct a Netflix special. And by the way, I don't think people understand how difficult it is mm. to direct a Netflix special because you stand up comedy special because you have to point the cameras at the stage. It is one of the hardest things that anyone has ever done, which is why every member of Ben's family has tagged him 95 times in the thing that says directed by Ben Avery because they're so proud of him and it, they have a reason to be proud of him mm -hmm. because the people that shot the special work for Louis CK and Joe Rogan mm. This group of people. So they were incredibly new at this. They were novices. They had only done what? Four specials with Joe and four with Louie or something? They, had, they hadn't done a lot. So Ben made sure that they all pointed mm. the cameras in the direction of the stage and not, I don't know, the lobby of the theater or someone else. How was it working with them? What were the what were the the real challenges of the oh the challenges of, man. of getting the cameras at the, to face the stage? Well, uh, first of all, I was thwarted immediately because I tried to leave all the lens caps on the cameras wow. when they were shooting because I was actually trying to sabotage the whole well, thing. Well, but no, let's time. think about it. Your family's incredibly proud of you about this, mm. and they're very proud, and. Do they do they understand that they any of them could have done this? Like, do your brothers and mother understand that they too could have done this uh, thing that you did? Should we say they are also executive producers? And by the way, why is my fat agent on a, that? I did not know. Why I, is he? Why special thanks to him? I think. Well, he got me the meeting with Brady. So he set up a Zoom meeting with Brady. Did he put himself? Did he put himself as special thanks? Because no one put him. Oh no! I think it's Sam Talent, uh, Wendy, who runs 
Con- and I think it might be Justin. Actually. I know it is, but who put him? <laughs> That's hilarious. No, I mean, literally, who put him? I have no idea. A special thanks. Who put him? I don't know, man. What- I put Sam Talent and Wendy. Who put him? Once it got into Netflix's hands, someone could have just sent them a note. Well. It wasn't me. Well, it's just a little bit absurd and insane that my agent who sat there through the first show that was unusable, eating spaghetti or whatever he was doing, uh, has put himself as a special thanks. You know who no one thanked? Me. Everybody else got thanked. The agent, you. But it was difficult. It is difficult. It is not, it's not an easy thing to do to point cameras at a stage. It is very difficult. And I'm very happy that Ben did it as well as he did. It was it, it was tough and trying, but we appreciate that. And we are very, very, very grateful to him. A genius of, of a man who was able to point a camera at me mm-hmm. for an hour. It's like this show. It's exactly. Well, this show is more difficult. Occasionally you look something up. <laughs> A little harder, right? Uh, but it was, you know, that was that was pretty big. Ben was telling me a fun story about Bobby Lee. What about it, Ben? Did he rape you? No. Hey. Ben Ben is a front desk girl at Equinox. That's right. That's what he is. He's right? a hot piece of and ass a, at he's Equinox. Cute, but he's the fucking first person they see, and he should feel he should feel important. Because it's not a bad job to be the they front desk hire, at Equinox. They can hire another hot girl, sure. Yeah. Yeah, but but, th- but you're here. You're- <laughs> you know what, Jessica? You're here, and you know what it is. They could hire some other big titted bitch. Mm-hmm. And Ben does a lot more. He edits, he did things like that. But the uh, front desk at Equinox does a lot more too. Yeah, dude, not- you think that's possible? Very possible. Yeah. Ben's angry with me because we we ended up recording the episode late, so he he harbors a lot of resentments and rage. He's a very rageful and angry person. But that anger only destroys him. It has absolutely no impact on me. Mm-hmm. You understand? No, it's not. I'm true. a sober person. Yep. I don't have resentments. Ben Mm-mm. white knuckles his sobriety and has resentments and rage issues and anger. Mm-mm. But I don't have those things. Nope. Every so. every second you spend hating is like stealing a precious jewel from yourself. I That's do not right. Hate. You know what resentments are? It's hating someone while they're out dancing. They're unaffected. So I'm unaffected by your hatred of me. You've been very hateful all day. You don't, you don't feel like that. I thought I've been like funny and fun. You've been very sloth-like and hateful. <laughs> sloth-like? Yes, and you've been very tight. You've been like spaced out and kind of out of it. And, uh, you know, it's just the behavior just the behavior. It's not my. It's not my fault. It's not my fault, right? What's well, not your fault? Whatever you're going through. I don't think I'm going going through anything. Okay. I'm just. I'm just. Uh, you're tired. No, nah, I'm just. I'm not even tired. I'm just chilling. I got. I'm. I'll be up till five. Why will you be up till five? Get the episode out. You're like the slaves on the plantation outside of that school picking the cotton. You want to sing an old slave song together? Oh, uh, how about, um, what's that one? I don't know. Really low voice. Well, that's not a slave song. It's old man river. That's a slave song. No, he's just on a, he's on a, he's on a river boat. But is he like, I don't pick cotton? Oh, yeah. He does say that. Old man. Yeah. Well, anyway, I did not. You know, it is that. Prevent morning aches and pains and even a Helix Plus mattress for plus size sleepers like Ben, who has too much weight and it hurts him. 
What what do you like about the helix? But I'll tell you right now, Ben's got great hand eye. He does. So if you start a problem, he's a real lanky guy, but he's got good hand eye, and he he can get down on the ground with you. He's well, a grappler. Ben is Ben a grappler? I don't know. Probably yeah. not. He's one of those guys I wouldn't I wouldn't fuck with Ben at all. Well, because he has that wasp cold Texas thing, so yeah. he can just walk away. He doesn't know what emotions are, so he doesn't feel, which is what's so good, and that's why he does good at the job. If you did, if you did Ben's face on that face app face swap thing, yes. he would seamlessly fit into most mass shooters' profiles. A hundred percent, just facially. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. He's got that face. The only reason Ben doesn't shoot up a school is because he doesn't like traffic. <laughs> right. Like he come, you know what I mean? Like he'll be like, oh my God, it's fucking he nine o'clock. There's still traffic. But I'll tell you what, with all the oversaturation that's yeah. going on in comedy. We apologize for not doing an episode last week for Easter. But, and I hate, again, I don't want to, I'm not blaming Ben. I don't put it on Ben, but Ben does a thing every year with his family where they do like a recreation of uh, Easter, where they do they recreate the resurrection of Christ, and it was Ben's turn this year to kind of go down and be Christ. And his mother said, even though you work for Jews, I want you to come down. She thinks I'm Jewish. The woman thinks I'm Jewish just because I have um, I have a mortgage, and she said you just have to. You have to play Jesus this year, and they do a whole thing in the yard, and they speak in tongues, and they have like a, it's, they don't have the money to really recreate a cave, so Ben just emerges from a shed <laughs> in the back of the yard, and they start chanting, and so we didn't want to ruin that, because it's a family ritual, and you know I'm not close with my family, so I can't really judge other people that are, you know, so... When Ben, you know, and I've known of this, and he's talked to me about it, and uh, he said, I have to go down. It's it's my uh, chance to be Jesus. Now, last year, his sister was going to be Jesus. She <laughs> fell asleep in the shed because she was drunk, and people's faith was literally being tested. They're banging on the shed. Get up, you drunk. Get up, you whore. She forgot she was even in an Easter pageant or whatever you want to call this. So she grabs a gun and runs out of the shed firing wildly. They wanted to avoid that this year by having Ben go back, sleepy little Ben, with his little uh, leather boots he wears now because he's uh, paid. And they wanted little leather boot Ben to walk out calmly and serenely out of the shed pretending to be Jesus so they could all chant uh, and then eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches or whatever they eat. It doesn't matter. Uh, so that's why we didn't have an episode. If you want to know the truth, that's the fact. Out of this guy. I might <laughs> buy Ben an ass. Would your wife mind if I got you an ass? Uh, it's for the show, right? I can get it taken out later. <laughs> no, it's invasive. It depends what kind you get. I was, I so I can't get it like cut off later? Cut off? You to amputate your you ass? Deflate it, I think. Jesus, no, you uh, you wouldn't want to. Your wife's gonna have to understand that the show is the primary. <laughs> and if you had a luscious ass, there'd be nothing wrong with that. Ben, you deserve an <laughs> the ass. The show just devolves into you deforming <laughs> Ben throughout the years. Yeah, I go like this. I'm like, I'm sick of dressing up in costumes, so I'm gonna give Ben an ass. <laughs> if you like um, people being killed in the Ukraine. Ben Avery is your boy. Oh, no. At Ben Avery is good. If you are a Ukrainian that doesn't like this war, maybe go give him a piece of your mind. At Ben Avery is good. If you are a Ukrainian who is against the war, perhaps at Ben Avery is good should hear from you. I don't know. I'm just saying. Perhaps he should hear from you. That's all I'm saying. I think you have to take some responsibility for your actions mm. in these situations. People are in in deep trouble and they're trying to reach out, you know? Mm. And hopefully th this will be balanced out by the fact that I sang that folk song. <laughs> works almost better on, in, uh, on the East Coast. Give them the mic, Ben. You've added nothing. Yeah, having uh, helped you pick some stuff out. You have. You have a great eye. Thank you. Yeah, that painting uh, was a big win. Yeah, I think it's going to look great on the East Coast. As Ben did say, it is nautical. It is. I mean, it is. It's a. It's a. 
No, it is, but Ben Ben doesn't understand when he says nautical, people think people think it means like lamps with like fishing rope around it. <laughs> ben doesn't understand. Yeah, it's not a tiki bar. I mean, no, you just have a I blue mean, theme. <laughs> this is a guy who pretended to be Jesus at his family's fucking fucking shed resurrection that they do every year. That helps me. Like I have to do that. See, to Ben me- doesn't Ben was lucky because he didn't need the program. I'm the program for him. Yeah. So it's very lucky. Sometimes people have a mentor that comes in. Not everyone is lucky enough to have someone like me who's relentlessly positive and life affirming. Oh, Ben, you're so lucky. Yeah. It's a real treat. But I mean, what happened to the doctor the other day? He said to you, he took all your blood. We pre recorded this because we got to do a little vacation in August. Ben's going, go. to, Ben's going to Europe with his wife. Oh, there you go. She's going to Europe for like, I mean, I mean, these people, <laughs> when they tell you where they go, you just look at them and you go, I, how, do you people? How yeah. much money do you have? They have more money than me, these people. I believe it. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. I believe so it. So he's going to, I'm trying, I'm going to make sure he's able to go for at least 10 days, maybe even the full two weeks with wow. his woman. With his woman to well, Europe. I, I am just, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You'll be at. It. By the way, but I'm trying. You can follow Ben Avery, but who gives a shit? For what? A picture of a duck? What's he adding to this? Go to our Patreon if you want to. It would be insane. Yes. If I was cared about swimming. I haven't done it competitively in years. Mm-hmm. And but I and I I love Ben's passion for it, but it's just a little absurd. And it gets to a point where it's it's disgusting. <laughs> I find he, it endearing. He's how much does he owe Bones Mackay? Hundreds of thousands. Who cares? Of dollars. <laughs> Dude, these names he comes up with are fucking why I think he makes them up. You didn't make that up? No, it's Adam Bones McKay. He's in it. I mean, Ben, what are your... So I, I just... I mean, what are your... I just did a... Br- I mean, what do you think about these things? So remember, he, he was and like... And that's true. But the other thing I think, if you really think about it... No, I'm kidding. Go on, Ben. So, the perpetually ungrateful Ben Avery, world traveler... Just doesn't care. Go on. So the here with Ben Avery, of course. Everything okay with you? You have a very odd. You've had a very weird tone. It's made a lot of people uncomfortable. I'm so th- I'm so thrown off. I feel like I've I've been doing. Uh, well, you have a very like it's a bossy. Like you get very bossy to everyone when you're. It's like your studio. And you're like very no, like. Come on. Yes, you do. You and everybody realizes it. You have a very kind of bossy authoritarian. I feel streak. like I'm intentionally very open. I open heart and I feel like I'm very encouraging and I feel like I bring a lot of, uh, I feel like I light up a room a little bit, not like a huge bulb, like a huge bright bulb of light, like a studio light, but I definitely, I'm carrying like a candle or like a torch or something. I come in and I just feel like, Hey, Ben's here. Everything's okay. Okay. You've now, that is your word, word quota for the next three episodes. <laughs> You're not to utter another word. You, you are, so out of line. Can I just say, yes. before you finish up, yes, h- how much I love Ben. He's ben really the best part of your podcast. Ben is a, that's not true, but Ben is a, no, I love Ben. Ben is essential for me to do what I do. And, no, um, he's just a kind soul. And I can, he's a know, kind really soul. He's a that. good hearted person. He's a good hearted person. And he works very, very hard. And he's one of these people where I'm lucky to have a Ben. Not everybody has a Ben, right? So I'm lucky to have him. Now, that being said, he must be watched very closely. Harvard. He must be oh, watched. Oh, you know who else closely. wore a Harvard sweatshirt? Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah. Is that the is that the reason you... Yeah. But Ben must be watched like everyone. They must be surveilled. Yeah. 